Okay, hey guys, so this week we're gonna be moving to what we call constructions, okay? Now for constructions, as the name says it all, we're gonna construct, right? We're gonna build things. Usually we do this in the paper with a compass and, and straight edge. And the straight edge is basically a ruler. Now, uh, you guys can buy one. Uh, your work, you guys are actually gonna submit pictures, okay? So you can buy one, do it on a piece of paper, or you can use a website that I'm giving you guys. So this is how the homework is going to look like. I'm going to give you guys instructions for a construction. And then there's two spaces you guys can see because you guys are going to have to submit two different uh, examples of it. You're going to you guys are going to make the same construction, but two different examples for each question here. So I'm giving you guys three constructions two of each. So I'm actually expecting six questions in here. Okay. Now here at the bottom of our homework, the first one is going to be a, a website. You guys can go to that website. Let me share you guys the website, how the website looks like. This is how the website looks like. This is what I'm going to be using a lot. Now here, you guys can see at the left, you guys have all the tools that we're going to be using. We're going to be using segments, pencil, compass. We're not going to use a protractor. We, we might use the ruler. We're going to use the ruler so, for something straight. And then I'm, I'm going to use different colors as well. Now, coming back to the homework, how the homework looks like. Remind, remember that I'm here. I'm giving you guys, don't forget to submit two examples for each construction. So for each construction that I give you guys, you guys have to submit two examples. And if you guys need help, here's another website. Let me show you guys how this website looks like. So let me go here. This is how this website will look like. Now, this website, it will tell you guys here. So for it would ask you, do you guys want to construct lines? What type of lines are you constructing? You want to construct angles? What type of angle you're looking for? Triangles, right triangles, a bunch of constructions. Now, my first homework, it said construct the line segment. Let me come back to my homework. Construct the line segment congruent to each given line segment. Okay, so a line segment congruent to each given line segment. Basically, we're going to copy the line segment. Now, let me come back to the one question, the one website that we have for help. We're gonna copy a line segment. Let me show you guys where I'm gonna click on this. I can press on the run and it shows me a whole example. It shows me there how this thing is working and I can see examples there. If you use the run, it shows you as a movie. Now, let me reset this. If you click on the next, it just shows you one step, but you guys will have to read, right? It gives you guys a step-by-step, -step, and each time you guys press next, or you guys could go back. So use that website if you can. So now let's take a look. Let me come back to our tool here. This is what I'm going to use. The homework, remember, I just read it. It's construct a line segment congruent to each given line segment. Let me come back to the homework. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to give you guys given. So what is given to you guys? It's a line segment, and I'm going to copy it. Okay, so let me come back over here to my uh, this website. Now, given is a line segment. Now, for the given stuff, I'm going to use black. So line segment, I'm just going to go this much. I'm going to use black for the given part. And then the instruction that I have that I have to copy this. So I have to draw a segment that is the exact same size. Okay, so then I'm gonna use blue. Let me use blue for the work. Now for this case, I'm gonna use a compass. Different ways how you can use a compass. How do you do it? For you to move it around, I'm gonna go here to the side that doesn't have the pencil. I'm gonna click and hold. So I'm gonna click and hold and I can move my compass. If I need to open the compass, I'm gonna grab the pencil, press and hold, and then you can open the compass as much as you need to. Now you wanna lock the aperture of the compass. You don't wanna be able to open it. Here on, the, on this little lock, lock it. Now I can't move it. 
I can't move my compass because I locked it. So sometimes I will use the lock tool. Now for you to draw circles, click right here on the very top. You guys can see on the very top. I'm gonna click, hold, and then spin it right around. And this is how I'm gonna make circles. Okay, let me erase this. So just to show you guys how we're gonna use the compass. Okay, so coming back to the question. I was given a line segment. So that's what is given and I need to copy it. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna grab my compass. I'm gonna place it at one end of my line segment. I'm gonna unlock this. I'm gonna place this at the other line end of the line segment. Basically the compass, I met, I did it to be able to measure the length of my segment. Now let me lock this. I measured the, the length of my line segment. I'm gonna move my compass somewhere else. I don't have to draw the whole circle. I just have to do part of my circle. So I'm gonna spin my compass just a little bit. All right, let me, let me remove that. Now, the way I'm gonna finish this, let me finish in red. Let me remove the compass. Again, I'm gonna use in diff I'm gonna use different colors. You don't have to. Okay, you can keep the same color all the way. Now I'm gonna use this line segment tool and I'm gonna connect it from this point. So I'm gonna press and hold and I'm gonna put it somewhere on this arc. It doesn't matter exactly where. And that's it. I place it right there. Now the black segment is the segment given. This red segment is the exact same length as that one. How do I know the exact same length? Because I measure it with the compass. All right. I measure it with the compass so I know it's the same length. You guys can see. All right. So that was the first construction. Now, the way you guys are going to do this, you guys are going to take a screenshot used on your tools. On here, I have snipping tool. You guys will will go in here and I want you guys to highlight I want you guys to highlight the picture. I'm gonna go here new. Press and hold to choose the section you guys are gonna choose. Now this picture, I'm gonna upload it in the homework. So if I go back to the homework, I'm gonna go here, control V for paste and I just added the picture. Do another example and you guys are gonna put it in there. This is what you guys are gonna submit. Now you guys prefer to do this on paper. You guys will use a compass. You guys, by all means, you guys can do that. Just make sure you guys submit the pictures of the work, okay? Now let's take a look at the second construction. We're gonna go construct a copy of each angle given. And then we're gonna say given, it's an angle. So let me start with my construction here. Let me clear this out. So it's given as an angle. So let me use black. Because remember, give. Uh, I start with given. So I'm gonna go, let me take the compass out. I'm just gonna do an angle. I'm gonna press and hold, press and hold. Okay, so I created an angle because that's what it was given. Right, I, it says given was an angle. Now the instructions say construct a copy. So I wanna do an angle that is the exact same length as this one. Okay, so again, for my work, I'm gonna use blue. Black is what, I, what is given. Blue is the work. And then um, I'm gonna use red for the final result. Now, one interesting part is that I'm just going to create a segment because I know my angle is made by two segments. So I'm just going to create a segment. There. It doesn't matter how big it is. When I say copy the angle, I'm looking at the aperture of the angle. How far apart are the segments? How long are the segments? It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my compass. I'm going to center it at the vertex. And I'm gonna move my pencil anywhere that touches my sides of my angle. 
let me lock this. I don't have to draw the whole circle. I just have to draw a segment that crosses both sides of my angle. You guys notice I center at the vertex and I cross both sides of my angle. Okay, so let me come back to the compass. I'm gonna move this. Notice I have it locked. I'm gonna move it to one end of my other side and I'm gonna create an arc as well. I can go bigger, just there. Let me remove my compass. Now I'm gonna measure, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure the aperture of the angle. The way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put my compass at this intersection. Let me unlock my compass and I'm gonna put my pencil on the other intersection. So notice I crossed my angle at both points. I'm gonna measure that. All right, now let me lock my compass because I don't want it to move. I'm gonna put the non-pencil here and I'm gonna move the pencil there. Now for me to mark that intersection, let me mark this. Go there. I could have marked it at the beginning. And there. All right, I need, I don't need my compass anymore. Now, let me draw in red my final result. So I'm gonna go from this point, I'm gonna do a segment from this point and I cross that intersection. And then that segment. There you go. Those two angles have the same aperture. The length of the segments, I don't care, right? I'm copying the angle, not the length of the segments. I could even prove it. I could grab a compass. Let me move my compass here. We can see this angle is about four, uh, about 36 degrees. Let me show you guys this other angle here. I will need to make this side bigger, but it's 36 degrees as well. Okay, that's the second construction. And again, I will use my snipping tool. I will go new. I will copy the whole construction here. I will go to my homework, right? If this was my homework, I will go to my homework. And I paste it. I copy that construction. <laughs> Make sure I'm for the for the lecture. I'm only doing one example of each. Make sure you guys do two different examples. Okay, don't give me the same example. Two different examples. All right. Now looking at the last one, it says construct a perpendicular bisector of each, given a line segment. Okay. So let's come here. Let me clear this out. Given a line segment, so in black, I'm gonna draw what is given. Line segment. And now I have to construct a perpendicular bisector. Now perpendicular means 90 degrees. Bisector means in the middle. So I'm gonna draw a segment that crosses a 90 degrees through the middle. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this, let me grab a compass. All right, for the work, I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna use blue stuff. My color is gonna be blue here. So let's see, uh, let me go blue. I will use the compass. I'm gonna grab my compass and the non-pencil part, I'm gonna put it at the end of the segment. Let me unlock this. And then I have a rough idea where the middle is. It's about here, rough idea. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I go more than the middle, okay? So notice I center at the end of the segment. I open my compass to more than the middle. Let me lock this out. And let me do a big arc. Now, let me move this compass to the other side of my segment. Let me move my pencil here, and I'm gonna do a big arc. I wanted the two arcs to cross. So you guys can see where they cross. Now, the final result, let me go in red. I'm gonna use a segment. I wanna connect this intersection 
with this other intersection. And there, I am saying that this segment, the red one crosses the black one at 90 degrees, it crosses through the middle. Now, let me prove it to you guys. Let me measure the distance from, from one end, end point to where I, I said this is the middle. All right, let me lock this. So that's the distance when I'm saying it's the half of the, the, the black segment. And watch, if I move it to the other side, same length. So yeah, it is in the middle. Now, I said it crosses at 90 degrees. Watch, let me grab my, my protractor. Let me show you. It crosses at 90 degrees. So it crosses through the middle at 90 degrees. Again, I'm gonna use my snipping tool. I will copy the whole image. I will go to my homework. In that space, I will paste it and there's one. Don't forget, don't forget to submit two examples for each construction. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.